In this section, I want to show you different commands on the clipboard panel on Home tab. And for this, I'm going to select different items, copy them, cut them, and paste them in another location. And I want to show you different items here. Now, you can see that I have a folder 1. And under folder 1, as you can see, I have different items from different types. And first of all, you need to know how to select these different items. If you want to copy something or you know you want to move something you need to know first how you can select these items okay the default behavior in Windows 10 is to show a checkbox beside any item if you move your mouse over items if you hover your mouse over an item you can see the checkbox appear here now as you can see I have uh, uh, what is it the detail view enabled here if I want to go to the right side of this window on the bottom of this, you can see display item by using large thumbnails. By clicking on that, again, you can see that the, the view is going to change to show me the thumbnails. It doesn't matter. If I, again, hover my mouse over these, you can see this checkbox over any item, folder, file, whatever. Now, you may see that, oh, on my installation, I cannot see this checkbox. Where is it? If you do not see this, you can go to view tab, go to options, go to view, and here if I scroll down in this list, I have something like this, show checkboxes to select items. Uh, I, I have not uh, you know, touched this because I first want to show you how you can do using this item and, and that's going to be so easy to work with these checkboxes. If I want to select one item, I can just go and click on this little checkbox and it will be selected. As you can see, it is highlighted and it has a check next to it. If I want to select multiple items, it is as easy as just, you know, putting a check beside every one of them. I put a check on this, put a check on this, and put a check on this. Now I have selected multiple items. How can I tell how many items I have selected? If I come down here on my status bar, it tells me that in this folder there is there are 15 items. And I have selected 4 items. And this selection is about 35 megabytes of data. So you can see that there is this a status bar that tells me how many items I have selected. Do you want more information on your selection? You can just go to View tab and click the Details pane. I love this Details pane. If I uh, enable this, the Details pane appears on the right side. This is my Details pane. As you can see, it tells me that this is about 35 megabytes of selection. And these are the common attributes of these files that I have selected. I may select even folders. If I go over one of these, for example here, I can select that. And as you can see, on details pane, it tells me you have selected five items. If I go down to status bar, it tells me there are 15 items. You have selected five items. Now, because this is a combination of a folder and file, you cannot see the, the, the amount of data that you have selected but it doesn't matter you have made a nice selection other ways to make selection actually you can have multiple ways to select items but it is best to go for details you know view if I go down again here and click on this or if I go to view tab and select details you can see the the, the show is going to change uh, the, 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 the way we can see these items is going to change. Okay? Now, again, you can see these checkboxes. You can just go for uh, clicking any of them. And, and this is a very nice thing that if I click on one of these in details pane, I can see attributes of this item that I have selected. Let me select another one. If I select now this one, you can see that I have selected two items. If I select another item, you can see that it tells me three items are selected. And uh, the amount of information here 
these are just you know common attributes between these types of files. You can see that some of them are image file, some of them are installer files, some of them are you know another type of file, for example, ebooks or you know text or documents and other types of files. So it doesn't you know it doesn't show everything about every file. It just shows me the the common information and common attributes of these different types of files. Now if I want to you know disable this selection I can just click on an empty area like this just make sure that you are not too close to one of these files or it will be selected too. Okay other types of selection one of them is window selection it is an old method to select different items. If I go for example here click my left mouse button and hold it and now move my mouse as you can see I am creating a window this window can encompass multiple items and by you know encompassing those items they are going to be selected like this I haven't released my mouse button click if I go up you can see they are going to be removed if I go down they are going to be added and I want to have all of these items that I have put under my window. If I release my mouse, you can see that now I have a selection. All of them are contiguous and they are, you know, all of them are consecutively, you know, arranged. Now I can add even more or I can remove some of them. For example, I don't want to have this file. I can go and remove the check from that. I want to have this file. I go and put a check beside it. So I have selected all of these items. Now I want to show you another way to select items. For this I'm going to, you know, remove this checkbox. I'm not a big fan of this checkbox actually. I go to View tab, go to Options, go to View, and I scroll down and use checkbox to select item. I want to remove the check from this. Click on OK. Now there is no checkbox beside items. So how can I select items? If I am a single click man, like the way I have selected in options, you can see that I have selected to have a single click to open an item. If I hover my mouse over an item and hold it still for some seconds, it is going to be selected. If I move my mouse up, you can see that the selection is going to change. Another way, it's going to change. Now I want to have multiple items selected. Press control button and move my mouse over the second item. You can see the first selection is not going to be removed. Or oh, hover it over the third one, over the fourth one, and just hold it still for, for one second. That's enough. And go to the fifth one. Now remove your mouse from this area. Release the control button. You can see that they are selected and they are there to you know have an operation uh, applied to them. Now if I move my mouse over one of these you can see the selection is going to be uh, cancelled. How can I select multiple items by one click? Hold your mouse over one of the items that you want to select. This is the first item in the list. Click shift button, uh, press shift button and hold it and move your mouse over the last item that you want to select. Now move your mouse out of this area, release the shift button. Now you can see that there are a lot of items selected and if you want to remove one or two or some of these items now you need to press control button on your uh, keyboard. Move your mouse over the item that is going to be removed Hold it for one second and remove the mouse from that area. Go to the second item that you want to remove. Hold it still for one second and move it out of this area. Now you can see that by releasing control button, this is my nice selection applied to this folder. So now you know how to select different items using control and shift, using checkboxes and using window selection. Now it is time to copy or move them to another folder.